Things you didn't know you could make with Canva, part 66. Let's answer five Canva questions that I get asked all the time. Question one, how do I turn on rulers and guides? In a Canva design, go up to File, Settings, and select Show Rulers and Guides. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Shift-R. This will give you ruler lines at the top and the side of your design. Then you can hover over that ruler line and drag some guidelines down to help you line up your content. Question two, how do I find elements I've used before? Go to the Elements tab and there's an option that says Recently Used. Click where it says See All. This will show you a list of all of the elements you've used in previous designs. It will show photos, videos, and graphics. If you find one you'd want to keep track of in the future, select those three dots and choose star. This will save it as a favorite so that you can easily find it the next time. Question three, where is the eyedropper tool? If you are using Safari or Firefox, you might have noticed that when you click on the color options and go into the color settings, you don't have the eyedropper tool. This is due to a limitation in the Safari and Firefox web browsers and how they interact with Canva. So if you're on a Mac, you can use Google Chrome and you will have the eyedropper tool. You can also use the dedicated desktop app. And if you're on a PC, you can use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Question four, what happened to the Design to Image app? Nothing happened to it. It actually just got renamed. So now the Design to Image app is called Asset Sync. Right here at the top, you're gonna to select Asset Sync. It will still perform the same way as it did before, where you can take any Canva design and you convert it into an image. So just make a note that it is no longer called Design to Image. It is now called Asset Sync. Question five, where is the duration button? This is the number one question I have been getting for the last several weeks. Canva has made some recent changes to the video timeline, and you might have noticed that the duration button is no longer visible. But here's how you can get it back. Select your profile image from the Canva homepage to open the settings menu and scroll to the bottom. You'll see where it says use new multi-track video editor. Turn this off, then reload your Canva design and you'll see that the duration button has returned. If you have Canva questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to cover more of them in future Q&A videos.